something a little different because I just got back from Pismo. We're doing something that happened in Pismo this day back in May. So let's go ahead and let's go right now to the garage and do Jake's Bounty. All right, thank you very much for tuning to Jake's Bounty. Hold on, I'm a little cock guy right here. At least the camera is. Oh, cock in your eye, right? That's how she got cock-eyed. And, uh, uh, there we... I probably didn't solve anything, but I fucked with it anyway. I, I can say I tried, damn it. Let's go ahead and, uh, tell you today, uh, about the music I shared that was me once again. That was, uh, from the album piece by piece and that was the song excuse me while I go ahead and look it up it's been so long since I looked it up that was the song uh, all along all right we'll have more from it later on as well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell you about the, the movie of the week that's a Italian job right here uh, no it has nothing to do with blow jobs but it's a good little film nonetheless right here with Mark Wahlberg and ooh, Charlie Theron Oh my God, uh, I, stop. I have to stop myself before I just, you know, mentally masturbate and then come. All right, but here it is anyway, the Italian job over here, raised with you $1 seven day renewal, all right? And also, dog training for dummies right here, because I'm a big dummy. And uh, well, here it is, uh, at Jake's Bounty, 599, when you type in the word dummy. All right, well, I was in Pismo for uh, Friday, Saturday, and a little bit of Sunday, just enough to you know check out and be on the road and then get back home. All in all, good trip. I, I got some pictures. I wish I could have shot some stuff on the beach for you guys, but eh, I didn't really have time, and uh, there wasn't really uh, a good time to do it. There always seemed to be other beach goers in the mix, and really couldn't get a good time to get to myself. And then I was like, how would I get a tripod? And yes, I'm making up excuses. All right, but I'll share the memories with you and um, tell you what happened. And uh, I can't wait to go back, you know. Also want to let you know, um, we had some news that happened. Uh, first off, the city of Fresno is poised to buy Tower Theater, attempting to end battle over Landmark. This happened, this has been going on more than 15 months. There's been protests from other uh, people, such as the Advent Adventure Church, and then there has also been the Sequoia Brewing Company, and uh, they wanted to buy the theater. And so now the Fresno Council will schedule a public uh, vote on that deal in the coming days, all right? So cross your fingers that it goes through, and the uh, Tower Theater is owned by the city of Fresno, all right? Fresno police are searching for suspects after multiple shootings on Easter Sunday. I guess I was oblivious to this because I didn't know about it until I opened up the paper. The first one happened at 1 a.m. on Sunday. Three to five shots were fired um, near Brooks Avenue and McKinley Avenue. A woman was shot uh, in her arm when it went through her apartment. And hours later, another uh, act occurred Two, three suspects fired multiple rounds at a man southeast Fresno near, uh, excuse me, what avenue is this? Looks like I've got Korea Avenue, um, but not with, spelled with a K, uh, spelled with a C. And then they got away. Then that happened at 3 a.m., walking near Yale and Orchard Avenue. And uh, this one was two men in a uh, SUV passing by ended up hitting a man who was uh, quite elderly and they hit him in his chest and his arm. All of these uh, victims are able to survive though, so that's good to hear, all right. Man stabbed during robbery in Central Fresno at what? Fresno and, well actually, excuse me, first and what? Belmont, that's right, of course, Belmont Avenue, 1 a.m. 
Man in his 20s stabbed uh, to upper body. Let's see. Approached by uh, men for money. He gave them, but he they wanted more. He ran. They caught up to him. And they ended up stabbing him. All right. They're still looking for suspects. Anyone who has information, please let the PD know. Uh, CHP's I suspect uh, DUI driver involved in deadly crash. 30-year-old Jose Cabrera will be arrested on multiple felony charges. Uh, happened on Highway 99 near Betty Drive. I guess he got on the wrong uh, on-ramp and ended up going, uh, hitting the car uh, southbound but he was going northbound, okay? Uh, he ended up running from the scene. Uh, the driver of the car, 36-year-old, ended up dying at the scene, and just a little while later, uh, Cabrera was arrested on felony charges and being under the influence. All right. An Airbnb shooting happened in Pittsburgh uh, rental property. This happened April 7th, uh, just, oh, excuse me, April 7th, April 17th, excuse me. Uh, it happened does it uh, Saturday? So my mom was like all concerned, like, oh, you're an Airbnb type sort of thing. I was like, no, it's a bungalow. It's different. And uh, also, there's 200 people. They're not just saying that uh, you know that it should have happened or anything. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that uh, you know there's 200 people. I only had eight people where I was you know uh, my bungalow. But um, anyway. Two people were killed, eight people were injured. Like I said, uh, two people showed, 200 people showed up, where 90 rounds were fired, and many underage attendees were there. Um, so, very scary, all right? Well, today, instead of uh, it happened back in this day in music, we're gonna do it happened this day in Pismo, all right? Because I was at Pismo over the weekend. And these are just some of the things that happened in Pismo, not on this date, but you know, they just happen in Pismo, period. You know, you think of Pismo, oh, it's just known for shark attacks. Uh, some, you know, there was a, a, one at Avalo Beach a couple years back where, you know, a shark mistook a, uh, you know, rather large woman for a seal, you know, and I didn't go so well. And there was another incident, I think, where a, a surfer got her arm or leg uh, bitten off, but she ended up still becoming a surfer anyhow. Uh, but anyway, these are other things that happened. Um, July the 22nd, 2021, so this didn't happen too long ago, not even a year ago. A man crashes car on the beach and then walks away. <laughs> All right, this happened 10.55 p.m. A 2005 Volvo drove away uh, through a grass area, through a fence, and onto the sand near the uh, Silver Shoals Drive, and uh, they removed it by 2.30 p.m. the next day. Could you just imagine that? Uh, just seeing a car just drive up there perfectly, and uh, like a movie scene, just like, you know, it hops the curb, it hops the freeway, it just keeps going to the fence, nobody got hurt, you know, good stuff there, and the guy was able to walk away, and they did catch him eventually, all right? Next story, Napona man uh, was ID Tuesday, January 18th, 2021. He was killed in a survey incident, Pismo, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, this happened over there by uh, Coast Nordo, and his name is not given. Oh, no, excuse me, his name is Grant Nordo. 54 unspecified injuries died uh, under investigation, so probably died due to some, um, you know, surfing incident. Don't know if it was a heart attack. Well, it doesn't say he was bitten by a shark. Usually they said they're bitten by sharks or something like that. All right, but here's a happy ending story. This just happened five days ago. Two teenagers were swept away by a tide and they ended up about a mile away from the beach. And uh, at this point in time, they'd been there for several hours trying to get help, trying to stay warm, you know, keeping each other warm. And luckily, two fishermen spotted them, and at first they thought, oh, these are otters. But they got a little closer and noticed, oh, these are two girls. They asked them, hey, are you all right? You know, and they ended up getting them on their boat and getting them safely back to where they needed to go. These guys are heroes. And you can see it on a viral video uh, if you just look it up on YouTube. All right, so that's that. So let's go ahead and go into the Dog Training for Dummies book right here. All right, um, let's see if, nope, I already did that at the time. Uh, focusing on the opposite of come, go, uh, yes. 
A command that few people think to teach their dog is go, which is quite useful in several ways. Get up in the car, go. Go with the person taking your dog away from you at the veterinary office or go. Like in my case, I went away for three days, so my dog was like, oh shit, where are you going, dude? And luckily my mom was there to take care of him. Uh, but he was still kind of like, oh man, where is he? Oh, sniff, sniff. Oh uh, man, where is he? You know, but uh, you know, Sunday came and uh, he was fine. All right, but get the ball, dog. Don't you see? Throw it or go at the park. Send your dog out to play with other dogs or go. When training alone, you want to practice the come at man, uh, command. Send your dog out to, so you can call him to the section to explain the sequence of training these commands. So just as you want him to, you know, come, you want him to go also. You know, and you don't do the whole like, go away, dog. I never liked you anyway. Uh, that's not cool. All right, but let's go ahead and tell you about, uh, well, I can't tell you about tomorrow until I show you my bounty. So here we go, show you my bounty right now. Stay right there. Of course you are, where are you gonna go, right? Huh? So, uh, I did, uh, you know, pretty good. I got a full size bag. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it's full because I emptied some of the contents out of it. But I got some Coca-Cola. I got some Red Bull. Uh, I got some Tropic Aloha, like seltzer and shit. And I got some water. Corona that's deep in there. That's what she said. <laughs> and finally, a, um, what is it, Smirnoff Ice Smash right there. There you go. And I wasn't going to share a sand dollar with you, but I'll do that tomorrow. I'll save you suspense, you know. I'll be like, oh, it's dead your receipt and shit. But tomorrow we will have that sand dollar, the news, some more music for my album, Piece by Piece. And I'll also tell you about uh, some stuff that happened. And also Punk Tuesday, Fat Tuesday, Your Mama So Ugly Tuesday, and all that good stuff, too. You guys be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. And I'll see you tomorrow. Here I am singing uh, Sealed Fate from an Occasional Hell. See you later. <laughs>